Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and today is going to be a huge back to school haul. So I'm not going to share with you guys like every single back to school supply item with you guys because a lot of this is just boring stuff like markers, crayons, scissors, glue, stuff like that. So I'm not going to share all of that, but I am going to share it like their book bags, their lunchbox, lunchbox accessories. And then I'm also going to share with you guys some back to school clothes and shoes. So let's just jump in to this back to school haul. All right. So the first two items is technically a supply item, but I thought I would share with you guys because I think it's a great deal. I got it from Dollar Tree and it is these two plastic folders. So I got one in pink and then one in purple. And what I really like about them is that they have all of these like little different um, parts that you can put paperwork in that I really liked. I'm not sure if it's removable. I'm pretty sure you can just pull it out if she doesn't need that. But I just thought that was really cool. So I got this pink one and then this purple one. And then I love the colors inside. Look how pretty those colors are. So I got two of those folders and that's the only supply item that I'll be sharing with you guys. So next I'm gonna share with you guys their school book bag and also their lunchbox. I did not buy Ryan a new lunchbox just because he has two of them and they are both in really good condition still. So there was no point of buying him a third one, but Madison did need a new one. So I got her this really cute unicorn one. I bought this from Target. They did have a matching book bag, but it was just way too big for her. So I didn't buy the matching book bag, but I did buy her this really cute lunchbox. And then to go with the lunchbox, I bought her this really cute book bag. And I bought this from Marshalls and it was only $12.99. I really do wish I would have gotten Ryan's book bag from Marshalls. One, because they were so much more cheaper. And also they had so many really, really cute ones, but I didn't, but I did get Madison's and it has like this really cute pom-pom and then the unicorn. And it's just a really um, soft material. I love it. So that is Madison's school book. Bag. So Ryan's book bag is the Cat and Jack brand from Target. And it is this really dark, like navy blue one with a bunch of sharks all over it. The first book bag he picked out was a dinosaur one. And I liked that one better, but the last minute he picked out this one. But it also has a shark in the back. And I bought him a new book bag because the one from last year started getting like a little hole in the bottom. So I figured I would just go ahead and get him a new one. And this one I believe was doesn't have a price it doesn't have a price but i believe it was like 22 22 or 23 dollars for that now i'm gonna go into like their lunchbox accessories so i did get another benko lunchbox i bought this from kroger the reason why i bought it is because i think it's good just to have like a backup one even though they already have these and also it was on sale i got this i don't remember i don't know if it was like nine or ten dollars which is a really great deal for this lunchbox so this is the box and I did take it out of the box so you guys can see how it looks inside. So this is how the lunchbox looks like. It's a pretty good size. It fits in um, Ryan's lunchbox, so that's good. Um, but yeah, when you open it, that is how it looks inside. So it has a bunch of different like little um, spaces you can put food in. But what I like is that you can remove this. You don't have to have that in there. So if you just want to use that whole space, you can. But if you want to put that back in you can and then it'll just separate so that is the first like little benko lunchbox i got and then i found this bento box it's supposed to be like the same thing as the benko but i guess it's just like off brand but i liked this one because it comes with little ice packs on the top to keep the food cool and then it is separated so you can have two different little spaces to put food in so we'll see how well this works i've never used it but i thought i would grab this and i think this was like only like seven or eight dollars and then I bought them a few new ice packs. So I bought this one that says chill out. And then I also bought just this little pack one. It comes with two and it has a pink and a purple one. They have a few from last year, but they're really old. So I figured I would just get them a few new ones. I also bought this little mini lunch box. It is the Arctic Zone on brand. And this was only $2.99 from Marshalls. I bought this for Ryan because he does have snack time. And a lot of times he gets his snack and his lunch confused. So I put his snack in this little small um, lunch bag so that he knows that this bag is his snack bag and not to touch it for lunch. So I just like to separate it like that, but I like it because you can fold it down to be really small or you can just use it as a big one. So I'll probably just fold it down like that and put his snacks in here. So Madison's teacher did ask for um, disposable sippy cups. I'm not sure why Madison really doesn't drink from these anymore, but I did grab them since it was on the supply list and I just grabbed this pack that had a bunch of different colors. So the next item is this really cute thermos for Madison. It's pink and purple. And then it just says 
lovely little llama so madison really isn't into like cold food she likes more warm food so what i plan on doing is always packing her like leftovers from the night before dinner so she needed a thermos ryan has a thermos but he barely ever uses it because he likes more cold food rather than warm so i'll probably be using ryan's thermos for her as well but i thought i'd get her another one as well because ryan's i believe is um Ninja Turtles, which doesn't matter. She can still use that one, but I wanted to get her a really cute girly one. Another item for their lunchbox is these lunchbox notes I bought from Dollar Tree. I shared this on my Instagram stories if you guys follow me over on Instagram, but these are so cute. It comes with 18. So it comes with those three designs that already say sayings, and then it comes with blank ones. So you can actually just write any note that you want. And I thought that was so cute. I'll show you guys a few of them. I'll probably go back and get a few more. But that's just how the cards look like. And I thought it would be fun just to throw this in their lunchbox. And then they'll get excited to get like a little note. So that is how those look like. Like I said, probably go back and get another one. This is the only design that I saw. I don't think they have any other designs. But this is really cute. So I have some silverware. So I usually buy just like the disposable silverware from Dollar Tree to pack their lunches with. Because they always lose everything. But I thought these would be cute and make it more fun. So I bought this popper toe one and then also this despicable me one so it comes with a spoon and a fork on both of them so i bought those and then i also bought these and this also comes with a spoon and a fork um i couldn't find the purple ones they used to have like a purple one the last time i went to dollar tree they had it i didn't pick it up and then i went back yesterday and they only had red and blue so i grabbed those two then i also bought these food picks by cat and jack i probably won't put these in madison's lunchbox just because she puts everything in her mouth although i'm pretty sure the teacher will be watching her just in case i'll just not put it in her lunchbox because when the teacher turns her head i'm pretty sure madison will try to put it in her mouth but i bought these it comes with 15. these are a bunch of different dinosaurs and then these are just a bunch of different really cute animals so i thought that would be really cute to put in their food they had um these last year but i think there's only like two or three left i have no clue what happened to them ryan lost them so they were only a dollar and nine, so i grabbed those two and then i also bought these cat and jack silicone food cups so they come with four each i bought these stars and then i bought just the regular circle ones and i'll be using this in their lunchbox as well the next thing is these headphones for madison Ryan already has some from last year, which he will use again this year, but Madison didn't have any. So I just grabbed these and these are from Marshalls. They were only $5.99. I like it has like a little volume control on the side where they can control the volume. So just bought her those cute headphones. And this is a random item, but I found it in Target's dollar spot. I like to give teachers gifts a few times a year. So like for their birthday, Christmas, um, teacher appreciation, and then like the end of the year, I'll always give a gift. So I like to just hold on to things. So once those holidays roll around, I have something to give them. This was only $3 from the Target's dollar spot. And it says, it takes big hearts to shape a little mind. It's an apple. And then she can put like her pens or pencils in there and put it on her desk. I thought that was really cute. So I grabbed that. So now we're going to move on into shoes and clothing for the kids. I did buy Madison a few more items than Ryan, but she really needed a lot more than Ryan. Ryan still has a lot of things from last year that still fit here. So I did buy her a little bit more. But in this bag, it's just full of like hair ties and hair bows I found at um, Dollar Tree that I could not pass up. She honestly does not need all this, but I couldn't say no. So the first bow, which I already took the tag off is just this white one and it has, I don't know if you guys can see, but it has like little glitter specks in it. I bought that bow. And then I bought two of these. I figured when I do like pigtails, I can put one on each side and it's just this really pretty like purple color. I also bought her this one. It's kind of like a mermaid bow. It's black with a bunch of different colors. I bought this pink glitter one. I also bought this one. It's just like rainbow colors with glitter. I thought it was really cute. So I grabbed that one as well. I think those are all the bows. And then I also bought her some clips. So I bought her these. It comes with gray and black. And then these comes with purple. So I grabbed her two packs of those. Then I grabbed her a pack of these clips, which I didn't realize until I got home. Someone stole the top two, which whatever is fine. I guess I only paid a dollar for it, but yeah, they're missing two up here, but it's just um, a pack of more hair clips. And then I'm always losing her hair ties, so I just bought her some hair ties. Bought her these. It comes with black, gray, um, like a plummy purple color, and then pink, and it's glittery. And then I also bought her these. I thought were really cute. It has pearls on it, and it comes with two, so I grabbed her those as well. 
Those are all of like her hair clips, hair ties, and bows that I bought her. She has a lot in her drawer. I did get rid of a few that were old, but that's all the ones that I bought her, even though she probably didn't need all that, but I still bought it for her. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys all of their clothing items. I guess I'll start with um, Madison. The first pair of shoes is some weird name brand. It's called Gears by Dream Seek. I bought them, they were on clearance for $7. I thought they were so cute. It's like a rose gold glitter. It has a Velcro and then also like the sh shoe strings. So I grabbed her those. These are a little bit big on her. She's currently wearing a nine, but she's about to outgrow them. So I've got her all tens. So I'm just gonna have to put on like thicker socks on her because they are a little bit big on her. But I just thought those were so cute. And for $7, I could not pass them up. The next pair of shoes are some Converse. And since it was a display one, they did give me a um, sale price on it. So I got it for only $16 and it is just some really cute converse they are gray pink and white so i grabbed her some converse and then the last pair of sneakers i got her are some nautica ones and these are like a navy blue color and then it has hot pink and again it has like this shoestring but it also has a velcro on top so i just grabbed her these as well and these were only $19.99 i also just bought her a pack of socks and these are no show socks i got these from target i think they were like 5.99 yeah they were 5.99 for a pack of seven so she just needed some new socks i just grabbed her one pack of socks and then now we're going to get into all of her clothing all this clothes is from like all random stores mostly like marshall's tj maxx target and i think i might have maybe one thing from Kohl's. i'm not sure but i'll tell you guys where everything is from so the first thing is this sweater i thought it was so cute it was on clearance from target and it is the art class brand, which I've been loving. It was originally $17 and I got it on clearance for $5. I don't even know if you guys can see, but I got it on clearance for $5. Fall is around the corner. So it just says summer vibes and it is big on her, but I'll just roll up the sleeves a little bit. But I just thought it was so cute. So I grabbed her that sweater. I also got her this shirt, which was also on clearance for $6.48. And I'm not even sure if she can wear this to school because it's spaghetti strap, but we will see. But I just thought that was really cute. It has some floral um, little print on the front. And I thought that was cute. So I grabbed her that. And this is random. I went to go um, sell some clothes at a secondhand store. And I was looking around because it took like 30 minutes for them to go through all my stuff. And I found this. I usually don't buy stuff from secondhand stores just because honestly, I feel like a lot of things are overpriced to be used clothing. But I did find this and I thought it was worth the price. It was only $4.99, so $5. And it is the Gap brand. And it's just like this. It's like a creamy white color. And then it has hot pink um, unicorns and bunnies and trees all over it. And I thought it was really cute. So once it starts getting cooler out, I can put this on her with like some leggings. So I thought that was really cute. So these are all the shirts I got for her. So the next few things are going to be from Target. The first thing is this really cute Dumbo shirt. It's just gray with Dumbo in the front. I just really liked the sleeves right there. I thought that was really cute. So I grabbed her that shirt. I also got her this from the Cat and Jack brand. It's just a little unicorn. And the next shirt is also from Cat and Jack. And I just really like the sleeves on this one too. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a really cute um, sleeve. It's kind of like a royal bluish purple color. Um, the camera's coming out like really, really blue, but it's really not that dark. But yeah, that's how that shirt looks like. Then I also got her this shirt with flowers in the shape of a heart. The next shirt is from Kohl's and this is like an army green shirt and it says adventure awaits. I thought that was really cute. So I grabbed her that shirt. This shirt is from TJ Maxx and it was only $4. I wish I can find myself a Nike shirt for $4, but just a really cute basic shirt. And then this is from Carter's. I'm not sure how much this was. I think it was like a door buster, but it just says mommy's BFF in hot pink. I thought that was really cute to go with like some jean shorts. The next few things are like shorts. So I bought her these. This is the Jessica Simpson brand. And I bought this from Marshalls. I thought that was really cute and it has a little bit of distressing. So those are those shorts. I also bought her these. These are also from Marshalls. These were $7.99. And then the last pair of shorts is from Target. And it's just like a denim um, pair of shorts. The next two things is going to be from Ross and this was $10. It's the Carter's brand. I thought she can wear this now 
and I can just um, put some like biker shorts underneath. And then once like fall hits, I can just roll down the sleeves because they are long sleeves and then put like um, leggings or tights underneath with a pair of boots. But I thought that was really cute. It has like hot pink detailing on the top with like some rose um, gold buttons with a bow in the middle. So I thought that was really cute. And then the next thing from Ross is this Carter's outfit. And this was $11. And it's just like a little um cat and then it came with like the matching leggings and then the last outfit i got for her was from tj maxx and this was eight dollars and i thought this was so adorable the pants are so soft but it's like a jean top with some florals in the front and then it came with these really soft um leggings so that's the last outfit that i bought for madison moving on to everything i bought for ryan i also bought him a pack of socks his came with 10 though and these are just some low cut socks and then i bought him two pair of shoes i wanted to get the kids each two to three pair of shoes but i could not find anything in ryan's size so i got him these adidas i think i got these from marshall's and they are just a pair of black and white adidas so just really simple they had a really cute pair i think it was exactly like this one but in white instead of it being black it was white here and then black stripes but Every time he plays in the playground, he comes home and his shoes are so, so dirty. So I figured if I get him white, there's no way I would be able to like bleach them clean because they have like that red mud in the playground that's hard to get out. So I figured just to get him black ones. And then I also got him a pair of Nautica ones. And these I think I also bought from Marshalls. Another pair of black sneakers. And it just has um, some white detailing here. And then it's like a royal blue inside. So moving on to the clothing items I bought for Ryan. This is from Kohl's. It's just a pair of black shorts and it has like a drawstring. So it's just simple black shorts. These next shorts are from Carter's. They also have the drawstring and they're just like jean shorts. And these are really big on him. So I don't know when he'll be able to wear these. I tried them on him and they were huge. He is like in shirts. He's in like a five, six right now. And this size is a size four in shorts and they were still huge on him. So. I don't know, maybe I can go back and get a size three and it'll fit him better, but I just bought him a simple pair of jean shorts. I also bought him a pair of jeans because they were on sale and it's really hard to find jeans that are not high waters on him. So I grabbed him these and it has the drawstring right there as well. And I just thought they were really cute, simple jeans. So those are all the bottoms I bought for Ryan because he honestly didn't even need those two pair of shorts I just showed you guys because he has a ton. I do need to go out and buy him jeans once it starts getting colder outside, but for now he is good on bottoms. So everything else is just going to be tops. The first top is from TJ Maxx. It was $10 and it is this Tommy Hilfiger collared shirt. I just thought it would be really cute. So if he has like a class party or something he needs to dress up a little bit, I thought that would be really cute. Next is going to be this Ralph Lauren basic tee and this was $10 and it has just like the V in the front, it has a little pony right there, just a simple tee. I'll have another Ralph Lauren shirt and this one was from Marshalls and it was on clearance for $10. It was originally $13. So looks like that. And then in the back it has polo with the number three. I got him this Calvin Klein shirt from Marshalls. This was only $5 and it's red with a little V-neck in the front with the little logo right there. This shirt is from TJ Maxx. It was $5 and it is the Nautica brand. I just really liked this color. I thought it was really pretty. So he has the same exact shirt in red from last year and I really loved it on him. So I grabbed him this one. And then I found this shirt from TJ Maxx. It was on clearance for $4 and I figured it was just a good basic tee and it's a Tommy Hilfiger shirt. It's gray. Really cute basic tee for $4. I couldn't pass that up. I also got him a shirt from Kohl's and it is their Jumping Beans brand. It's just a simple tee with a little pocket right there. The last shirt I got him is from Carter's and he picked out, he's obsessed with dinosaurs. So I let him pick it out and he wanted to get this gray shirt with the dinosaur. So I let him get that one. There was another dinosaur shirt he wanted, but they just didn't have his size. So we just went with this one. All right, guys. So that is going to end my huge back to school haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I bought for my little ones for their first day of school. My kids start the first week of August, which is next week. I can't believe school is already starting. Summer went by way too fast and I am not ready for them to go back to school, but 
they will be going back to school next week. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's haul. I will be filming a back to school lunch ideas. So all next week, I will be filming every day all of their lunches that I'm packing for them. And then the following week is when I will upload that video. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on that video. As always, thank you so much for watching today's video. Remember to turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I do upload this video. Give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.